I'd like to welcome all of you to tonight's event commemorating the 40th yard site of Sheila Sohn, Aleha Shalom. All of us at Church Share It really appreciate the support we've received from the community since we started our Long Island outreach three years ago. Later in the program, you'll have an opportunity to hear more about the amazing work Sharsheret does. But I'd like to take a moment to share with you how I, a breast cancer survivor, has benefited from Sharsheret. Four years ago yesterday, I received that dreaded phone call informing me that I had breast cancer. Besides my amazing family and friends, Sharsheret has been with me throughout and has become my extended family. Their peer support network has been of tremendous value. As one who was initially a recipient of the support, and more recently as one giving it, I can attest to the power of being surrounded by women who have gone through a similar experience. Yes, my family and friends were amazing, but sometimes I needed, and I still need to talk to somebody who has walked in my shoes. My Sharsheret family, many of whom are in this room tonight, and you guys know who you are, help me to overcome the feeling of being isolated and alone. They understood what I was going through, and they made me feel like I was part of a team, a team of strong and courageous women. 20 or 30 years ago, people spoke about breast and ovarian cancer in hushed tones, words like mammogram, mastectomy, lumpectomy, were never uttered. Sharsheret and events like the one here tonight help break the silence and take away the stigma of breast and ovarian cancer. Rochelle Sharetz Aleha Shalom, the founder of Sharsheret, her dream was that no Jewish woman should go through breast or ovarian cancer alone. Sharsheret is there to provide support for women at every stage. I'd like to welcome Senator Todd Kaminsky and Councilman Bruce Blakeman for taking time out of their busy schedules to join us here this evening. Okay. On behalf of Sharsheret, I'd like to thank all the people who helped put together this evening and make it such a huge success. Thank you to the family of Sheila Sohn, Aleha Shalom, and to all those who so generously sponsored tonight's event. A special shout out to ChemRx for their extreme generosity. Thank you. Thank you to Jonathan, Cal, and Josh from New York Fun Factory, Avi from Chapanash, Ala from Jerusalem Florist, and Beth of Premier Skirting. Mimi Schroyer, you're amazing. Thank you for taking your talents and putting them to such amazing use. This room is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you to all those in the committee who volunteered their time and to the staff at Sharsheret. And last, but certainly not least, thank you to my co-chair, Esther Zeidman. Your commitment to Sharsheret, to tonight's event, and to helping countless women myself included, get through their diagnosis is truly inspiring. I would like to now introduce Alan Sohn, who will be making the seum in memory of his mother, Sheila Sohn. I am sure that she is looking down right now with tremendous pride at all of her beautiful children, grandchildren, family, friends, and everyone who came out tonight to honor her. May her neshama have an aliyah. I, I want to thank Alana, thank Naomi, and all those who helped make this event happen this evening. Uh, I told Alana that I had about 20, 30 minutes of material for the CM, uh, and she warned me. She said, you are the only one standing between all these people and this barbecue. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it short. Uh, I'd like to dedicate the CM uh, on Mishnayot Mesechet Kalim to the memory of my mother, uh, Sheila Sohn, Sarah Rachel Bas Chaim Zavl, Aleha Shalom, whose 40th yard site we observed earlier this year. Uh, I extend my sincere thanks to Shar Sherrod for organizing this event and for the privilege of being able to make the CM this evening. I want to thank my sisters, Linda and Sharon, and especially my Aunt Carol, uh, my mother's only sister, uh, for their active involvement in sponsoring this event. Uh, 
Um, like it was yesterday, I remember moving into Lawrence 53 years ago. It was a very different place. The Orthodox Jewish community was minuscule, a mere fraction of the size and scope it was today. Uh, in this otherworldly five towns landscape of the early 1960s, few things were more alien than the Lawrence Yacht and Country Club. Back then, we Jews had no idea what kind of bizarre Goyish rituals were taking place there. Things like animal sacrifice, devil worship, golf. Uh, the things we take for granted today simply did not exist. Most importantly, you could drive down Central Avenue and not find a morsel of kosher food. I still remember when Sabra Pizza Store uh, opened up on Central Avenue, and I still remember shedding a tear when it closed, remembering that they still owed me 25 cents from the asteroid machine from a game I played, a Motsai Shabbat, in February 1983. Um, so, too, there was no Sharsheret. I couldn't possibly understand it fully at the time, but it was plain to see the challenges that my mother faced largely on her own. No one spoke of her condition. It would amaze my mother to see this community today gather to support an organization like Sharsheret in, of all places, the Lawrence Yacht and Country Club. Few things can possibly make me sadder than the fact that my mother, Aleha HaShalom, is not here in person to share in this event. But my, our, and her knowledge that we all are all here today to support the unbelievably holy work of Shasheret should be a comfort to all of us. As we are in the nine days, we look ahead to the national mourning on Tish Ba'av that marks the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash. Yet the following Shabbat, we begin a period of the Shiva Dinechemta that starts with Shabbat Nachamu, where all of the Haftarot of consolation come from Sefer Yeshaya. During these seven weeks, we sometimes read for Perak Samich Vav, the final Perak, the Siyum of Sefer Yeshaya, on Shabbat Rosh Chodesh, and we read the words, Ki ish asher imo t'nachamenu, kein anochi anachem chem uvi Yerushalayim t'nuchamu. Hashem reassures B'nai Yisrael that just as a mother comforts her child, so too will I, Hashem, comfort you, and you will be comforted over the loss of Yerushalayim. As we look forward, May we all be Zohet to see the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash, and may we see the day, thanks to Sharsheret, where no Jewish woman needs to face the challenge of breast or ovarian cancer alone. And now for the Siyam you've all been waiting for. Mesechet Kalim, uh, the first in Seder Taharot and the longest in all of Shas, provides a 30-chapter-long crash course in Tumah and Tahara, covering in detail the ritual impurity and purification of objects. As will be pointed out in the final Mishnah, the Mesechet begins with a discussion of the Avot HaTumah, the sources of the highest levels of Tumah, and then proceeds through the details of impurity and purification. The 30th and final chapter covers objects made out of glass. Glass is susceptible to Tumah only under rabbinic law, as it is made out of sand which makes it similar to earthenware made out of clay, which is explicitly, explicitly listed in the Torah as being uh, susceptible to Tumah. Glass objects are assigned a middle ground between earthenware vessels, which once broken and unusable lose their status, and metal utensils which can be repaired. A broken vessel might still be usable, and the final mission covers different glass objects and classifies them as tahor or tame based on their usability. Tzlochis katana shenital piha, a, a small flask that whose, uh, whose end or neck broke off, tamea is tame, uh, because it can still be used uh, with a, with, as a small object. Gedola shenital piha, a large vessel, uh, tahora, because the sharp edges would, would injure some, someone's hand. Shel palyaton shenital piha, a aromatic uh, oil, a perfume flask that whose neck broke off is tahor, tahora, mipnesha hi sarachas es it would scrape someone's hand who tried to put their finger in there. Legigin gedolim shenital pihen, large jars whose neck broke off are temein. Uh, why? Mipnesha hu misaknin lichvashin, it's uh, large enough that you could still put in pickles and other objects uh, and be able to reach in with a fork or a hand and not scratch one's hand. Um, 
V'har parkes, a, a uh, kind of a glass funnel, shel zechukis, tahora is tahor. There, and there's a final side note that is fascinating. Omar um, um, Rabbi Yossi, Ashraich Kalim, uh, blessed are you, Mesechet Kalim, Shenechnasta Batuma, that you started out with a discussion of all the Avot Hatuma, Viyatsata Bitahara, that the last words are our Tahor. Uh, the Meforshim on the spot note that Rabbi Yossi lived before the completion of the Mishnah. Rabbi Yossi ben Chalafta was, was a student of uh, Rabbi Akiva and was one of the, Reb, one of the Rabbeim of Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, who was the redactor of the Mishnah. So the question is asked, how could he possibly have seen this? He didn't have the completed Mishnah available. Uh, Tosfot in Mesechet Bava Kama, Daf Tzadi Dalar Amid Beis, uh, notes that Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, in essence, redacted. There were versions of the Mishnayot that were floating around, um, and that basically Rabbi Yossi was able to see that, uh, or that he had a version uh, of this Mishnah that, that reflected those words, even if it wasn't exactly the same Mishnah. Uh, again, it's just really remarkable that he was able to look ahead and be able to see uh, what would happen from the results of the Mishnayot and Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi's redaction. And again, so too may we be fortunate to see, again, Again, the rebuilding the Beit HaMikdash, and again, all the accomplishment of all the goals of Shasheret. Hadran Allah, Masechet Kalim, Vahadra Khalan, Data Khalan, Masechet Kalim, Vedaka Alan, or Tishnashi Minam, Masechet Kalim, Vulam, Tishnashi Minan, La Baalma Hadin, Vula Baalma de Ase. Ye were some of the Nechad Nile Hain of Lea was saying you should the Hesa Ruska, Umanosainu, Balam Hazer, Ushe, Umano Lam Haba. Hanina Bar Papa, Rami Bar Papa, Nachman Bar Papa, Achai Bar Papa, Abba. Mari Bar Papa, Rafa Bar Papa, Rakesh Bar Papa, Surcha Bar Papa, Adar Bar Papa, Daru Bar Papa. Ha'arev Nad Nailahin was the race of Raska, Bifinu Ufios, Amcha Bas Israel Venia, and Nachnu with Setsa Ain with Setsa Am Chabis Shal Klanu, Yodesh Mechav, Lamdes or Sechel Lishma. May of Isaac Hakmeni Mitsosechel, Kilolam, he lee, Ye he lee be Samim Behu Kecha, Laman Loevosh, Leolam, Loish Kak, Pihudeka, Kivamki, Sonny, Baruch, Atad Nai, Lamdeni, who Kecha, Amen, 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 Selava Ed. Modim anachnu lach lufanecha nai lehin of lehav asenu shesamta chalkin miyoshvei ve samidrash velo samta chalkin miyoshvei kranos shanu mashkimim vehe mashkimim anu mashkimim ledrei sora vehe mashkimim ledrei ram betelim anu amelim vehe amelim anu amelim mukablim sachar vehe amelim veinam mukablim sachar anu ratzim vehe ratzim anu ratzim lechayiha olam haba vehe ratzim liber ershachas shne emar viata elohim teridim liber ershachas and she damim umirma lo yechatsu yimehem vani avtach bach. Yehi rasan lufanechad nai elohai kashim sar tani l'sayim maseches kelim kain to azrini l'haskil masech doses farim acherim l'sayim mam lil mod ulamid l'shmor v'lasos l'kayim is called race al mutar secha ba'ahava uzechus kol hatanaim v'amaraim v'sal midei chachamim yamod li uzari shalosa mursha torah mipi umipi zari v'zera zari adolam v'sis kayim bi b'his halak techa sakne osach b'shach b'chad shmor alecha v'akitzos ahi sishkecha kivi Amen. <laughs> Yeheshme Rabba Marakli Lomel Mail Maya, Yisparakvish Tabakvis Paarvis Ramavis Nase, Yisadarvis Alevi Salal Shme de Kuchab Rehu, Le Elam in Kabra Kasavish Rasachish Pakasav Nechamasa, Damirambi Elamavi Muamain, A Yisrael Val Rabbanan Val Tamidehon, Val Kol Tamide Salmidehon, Vial Kolman de Asakim Baraisa Div Asraha Dain Vidiva Kalasar Asar, Yehe Lahon Lhon Shlamarabahina Vakista Varaham in Vahain Arikin, Umzneri Vikhe of Ekonomic Kadam of Hond Vishmaiv in Muamain, Yehe Shlamarab and Shmaiv Vahaim Alain. I'll call you, Sir Elvin Ruamain. O say shalom bin Ramav, who brachamavi ase shalom. Alain, I'll call you, Sir Elvin Ruamain. My name is Alana Silber, and I'm executive director at Sharsharet. And I want to thank everyone for coming and for your generosity. The video you just saw focuses on three of the families we serve. There are thousands more, some living right here in the five towns, who reach out to Sharsharet when they need us most. We rely on families like yours 
for your support. You enable us to do what we do best. You might want to ask, where does the money go? Take a moment to think about the cost of calling a therapist, nine to five, actually nine to eight, now that we have an office in Los Angeles. How much does that cost? Five days a week, all year long. Sharsharit skilled therapists, trained social workers, and genetic counselors are speaking one-on-one -on -one to more than 150 women and their families who call every single month, helping them understand their diagnosis, arming them with questions to ask their doctors, helping them cope. That costs money. And consider the high cost of education. 32,000 students each year are offered Sharsharit's age-appropriate curriculum on 150 campuses, from high schools to colleges to graduate schools, and we are educating them. We are educating the next generation and our generation about their cancer risk. What measures can they take to protect their health? With that information, maybe we can prevent cancer or find it early when it can be cured. With your generous gifts, we are improving lives and we are saving lives. So tonight, it gives me great pleasure to recognize the Long Island families who have established a Shasherit Jewel in honor or in memory of a loved one. These donors have become part of our elite Sharsharit Jewel Circle of more than 91 Jewel families. Our jewels are the major gifts that support our $3.1 million budget. You will notice some of us wearing Sharsharit necklaces. A special gift to our jewels and a way for us to raise awareness as Sharsharit ambassadors. And now, we introduce this year's Sharsharit Ruby Jewels, gifted by Long Island families. Joyce and Eric Austin, in memory of Mindy Schachter Greenberg. Diane and Howard Cole, in honor of Rena Cole and all the dedicated Sharsharit volunteers. Paula Fuchs, Dina and Bencion Fuchs, Risa and Jonathan Fuchs, and Nikki and Danielle Sawson and family in loving memory of Philip Fivey Fuchs, loving husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, son, brother, uncle, and friend. Iris and Shalom Maidenbaum in memory of Dorothy Lickerman and in honor of Naomi Levinson. Ilana and Mark Rothenberg in memory of Azriel Feiner. The Ganak, Sohn, Weissman, and Littman families in memory of Sheila Sohn. Also, please join me in thanking Esther and Dove Zeidman and Alana and Rafi Rossman, who have generously renewed their Sharsharit jewels this year. Tonight's program is special to many of us in the room and to me personally. Tonight we're focusing on a family that's close friends, would do anything in the world for anybody and any time. We're dedicating this special and meaningful evening to the loving memory of Sheila Sohn, a young Jewish woman who dedicated her short life to her husband, her children, her sister, her family, and to this very Long Island community. Some of you in the room may remember Sheila with fond memories, and others, like me, were not fortunate enough to meet her. But her legacy lives on with her children. I would like to call upon Sheila Sohn's daughters and my dear friends, Sharon Ganak and Linda Weissman, to give all of us an opportunity to take a moment to share in the life and love of their special mom they lost too soon. Sheila and Linda. Hi. 
I want to just um, acknowledge my mother's sister and our everybody's Aunt Carol. Thank you to Shasheret for hosting this event in honor of the memory of our mother's 40th yard site, and thank you all for coming and supporting Shasheret. This is a little bit of our story. When I was 10, I got off the bus from sleepaway camp, and my mother wasn't there to pick us up. My mother, not there. A woman in her mid-30s who was so dedicated to her children wasn't at the bus because while we were enjoying our summer, unbeknownst to us, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and had undergone a mastectomy. This was our introduction to her illness. Our mother, Sheila Sohn, was the most vibrant woman. She was active in all facets of the lives of her children, at the same time being a dedicated daughter, sister, and wife, and involved in our school, in our shul, and Mizrahi, which is now Amit. She traveled every summer to Israel with suitcases full of toys to bring to different orphanages. This was the mother that every day when I came home from school, I asked, is my mother home? I didn't know if she would be home in bed, too sick from her illness, or feeling okay. The last time I said goodbye to my mother, she was sitting in our kitchen while I was on my way to school. We did not know this was the last time we would ever see her again, as we children were so sheltered and were not brought to the hospital to see her. That was 40 years ago, and an organization like Shasharit did not exist. Today we have a brighter future. There have been medical breakthroughs for cancer treatment. There's better screening so cancers are found earlier. And there is Shasheret, an organization that is here for families in every way. They empower women to take control of their health, make informed treatment decisions, and guide parents on how to talk to children about their mom's cancer at every stage. The picture that is enlarged out front for you to see is not my mother at her best. It is my, at my brother's bar mitzvah, less than a year before her untimely passing. But to us, this is a picture of our mother in all her glory. Our mother with a full head of hair, her own hair, so happy to be at her son's simcha. We know that there are many people here tonight who have been diagnosed with breast cancer or who have a family member undergoing treatment or are now a breast cancer survivor. We applaud all of you and know that we are all in this fight together. On behalf of my Aunt Carol, my sister Linda, my brother Alan, and our families, we thank you, Shasheret, for all you do for the women and families here on Long Island and across the country. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you all for coming. And I just want to leave you with three things before you leave tonight. Three things. Learn your family history. What's gone back generations can help save the future. Tell two friends about the event tonight. You can't imagine the ripple effect you have on sharing information. And consider getting involved. We're here for the next few hours if you want to volunteer or learn more. Look out for us. And thank you to all of Sharsharad who helped make tonight happen and all of our volunteers. Thank you.